You're listening to Josh on Q93, your number one hit music station. And joining us this morning is actor and comedian Joseph Morcel, best known for his role as Jeffrey in the NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Joseph, good morning. Thanks for coming on. Good morning, Josh. Thanks for inviting me. It's a pleasure. Well, you are part of the new film, The Boy Who Hornets the Wind, which is streaming on Netflix. This is based on a true story, right? Yes, it's uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the life story of William Kempoenwe, who's... Uh, who's a Malawian, and he tells the story of uh, when he was a boy and how they, they built a windmill, they, how they discovered the, the, um, the mechanics of how, of how to build a windmill in the library, which is another, another reason that we should have more libraries. The libraries should be kept open. And, and it's, it's, a, it's an uplifting, wonderful story. It, it, has, it has politics as well as as um, the, the, the young boys trying to um, uh, uh, construct this thing. Um, it's, it's, it's beautifully directed and adapted by Chiwetel Ejiofor, and uh, it's, it's, it was uh, an absolute pleasure for me to be in it, and uh, I'm quite proud of it myself, really. Cool. From an actor's perspective, what was it about this film that drew you to the role? Um, Firstly, um, it would, uh, I hadn't worked with Chiwetel. The last time I worked with Chiwetel was on stage at the Royal National Theatre, where we played uh, Pierre Gint. And and secondly, it, the, the role of the chief is something that I, although I had played many many chiefs before on stage, it's something that I hadn't played in in a, in a, in, a, in a movie. And and it, it, it's it's a, it's a, a superb part. I mean, it it it, it may be uh, it may not be the biggest part in the world, but it's a, it's, it's it's a superb exercise for an actor. Right. Where did you guys film this at? Uh, what was that process like for you? Uh, we filmed in Malawi, in in uh, Eastern Africa. Wow. Um, and uh, it was it was it, it, it was quite quite hectic. I mean, <laughs> I, I, as you know, um, the, the, the Wi-Fi system is not. Uh, Malawi is a, is a very poor country. Um, uh, you know, we we, we 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 had adventures with our Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, kind of <laughs> Western men going to Africa and expecting everything to be you know laid up, and you know, we just, we just had to adjust and deal with it. Um, some of the friendliest people I've ever met, um, uh, some of the most accommodating places, uh, and, and they, 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 they took pride that we had chosen their country to, to, to make our film. And <laughs> when it, you know, the film is about their country, so it was, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was a, an adventure. It really was a superb, wonderful adventure. Awesome. So what can Netflix subscribers expect when they check out this film? They can expect something that they have never seen before, in that it, it, it is uplifting, it, yet it is dramatic. It is, it is beautiful. I mean, it, 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 it's the, the, the kind of cinema, cinematography that perhaps you'd see in a Coen Brothers film. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it is, it is a wonderfully gripping story. And, and at the end, you will cry. Awesome. I can't wait to check it out this weekend. As we mentioned earlier, you're best known as Jeffrey from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I want to ask you why we had you on. When you first started that show, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, did you ever think it would become as iconic as it has? I mean, people today are still watching it in syndication. Good Lord, no. I, it, 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 it's, it's astonishing. It really is astonishing. I, it, it, it's, it's like every September, we, we, we have a, a, a new audience um, it, 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 it has continued to be the kind of, uh, how can I say this without seeming stuffy? I mean, the <laughs> epitome of cool. I mean, it, it really is. It, it, it hasn't aged. And, and I mean, wherever I go in the world, somebody walks past me and whispers, Jeffrey, stop. <laughs> in Turkey or in Austria or in the Caribbean, in Canada, in the USA, wherever. And it, it no, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I myself, Joseph Marcel, could never have predicted such a thing. Uh, we actually went to see uh, Captain Marvel in theaters last night, and uh, there's actually a Fresh Prince reference in the film. And I was like, man, this that sitcom. Are you Yes, there's a. It's, as it said in the '90s, the film, so it brings up Fresh Prince, a little reference, and I was like, man, that 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 sitcom has touched you know multiple generations. People still watching it to this day. Yes, yeah, I mean that is wonderful. All right, that's on my list. When I... <laughs> yeah, check it out. There's a little reference about Fresh Prince. It's great. Okay.
<laughs> we have been talking with actor and comedian Joseph Morcel. Be sure to check out The Boy Who Hornets the Wind. It's streaming on Netflix. Joseph, we're looking forward to watching it this weekend. Thanks again for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you for the opportunity, Josh, and the very best to you.